and we are going to continue the process of creating our uh, concept art that we started some weeks ago. It has taken a lot of time, a lot of time, but right now we are now in the in the finishing. The, I guess no. Well, it's not really the finishing. We still have a lot of things to do. One of the things is the coloring of the of the spaceship, and uh, what we're gonna do today is continue this process of creating our spaceship. So that's uh, as you can see right now. <clears throat> that is the concept that we have on this moment, uh, where we create all the lines, the basic lines for for the spaceship that we have right now. And um, sorry, give me a second because I have to set up a lot of things here. And uh, um, now we are getting into the details of uh, well, not the details. It's going like like the um, going to the wider uh, colors let's say uh, we are going to just to just to create the the colors that are going to be on the on the inside of the of the spaceship and as the last step then there is going to be more details about about those colors so let's go to let's continue what we were doing and uh, from that point on then the rest is going to be be this here. So let's go here. Um, what's happening here? Okay, here it is. Good. Okay, amplify this. Good. And then. Uh, okay. So what we did, what we did last time was creating some uh, some shapes, and uh, what we're gonna do today is exactly continuing that process of creating that shapes. I don't know why this is so dark. Oh, that's better. Good. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Let's see. So that thing's got a little slower. Here we are. Okay, perfect. So let's go to my layers. And now I'm going to create a, a new path. And let's see what happened here. Something's got stuck, sorry. Okay, I know why. I know why. Okay. So yes, the first thing that we choose was this path that we have here. Yeah, this is a cover. And now we're going to create another cover. So let's see what our, is the cover going to be? Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do now is to create some shapes. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna use the last tool, which is L. But I want, uh, I think I want the last two like this one, because I don't want to to create any, uh, let's say circles around it. So let's create something like this that comes here, and then let me see that comes until here. Then he, let's say like around, yeah, like around this point. Then here. Around here, good. And we're going down, and then we are going like. Let me create like some kind of shapes here, like this, and, and this, and this, and this. 
this good and coming back to here 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 and here and then here good that's good go Perfect, that's beautiful. And then here, and now we're closing here. Good, perfect. And now I think I'm going to, sorry. And now, come on. Uh, now we have this close. I think uh, I'm going to reverse selection, which is going to be select and inverse selection. What, what happened? I thought we have it. Uh, select uh, inverse selections. Why I'm not doing the inverse selection. Select inverse selection. And that's strange. Let me see. Okay, let me see. Let me see what I want is. I get it, I get it. Okay, no. I'm gonna do the, the next command D. Okay, cool. What I want is to this section, this also this section that we have here. What I wanted is to. Okay, how can I explain it? Okay, I want to choose this section here good and now I'm coming here and I'm going to say okay okay I'm going to say I want you to subtract this section so it will be something like let me see let me see how can I do this Okay, I'm coming from here. I'm gonna say subtract this section here, 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 here. Good. Now here. All right, we're going down and down. We're going down here. And we're going down here. Okay, let's go to the complete size. Oh, perfect. And then I'm going to select and say inverse selection. Okay. No, wait, wait. Okay, I have this selection. And here, now I'm going to say layer, uh, sorry, select inverse selection. Oh, come on. Why I can't? inverse the selection I have this selected okay let me think because the section that I want to select is precisely this one so how can I select that? From this selection, this this area that we have here. Oh, I'm going to say I'm going to do it backwards. Sorry, I'm going to do the next. So I'm going to say I'm going to do this. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So keeping the option button, tap, I'm going to say, okay, you're going to take here, okay, a bit here, a bit here, and here. And then we're coming down, 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 sorry, down, and then like 
this, 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 this. I'm going to make it for the other side. We should shouldn't be a problem. There you go. Perfect. Now I have the selection that I wanted. And uh, I think I can even even clear a bit. Oh, I think that selection is pretty cool. So now that I have this selection, notice that we took all these sections here. Now I'm going to the covers and then I'm going to use the same, sorry, the same color we use here and then uh, brush. Let me put my brush a bit bigger and I'm going to brush all this section. Good. There you go. We have all this section uh, painting or oh, painted. Oh, sorry. And uh, that's it. That's pretty much it. Okay, perfect. Let's continue now. Okay. Now let's go to this. Oh, sorry. Let's go to this section here. There was one thing around about this that I don't like. Let me check this sketch because um, let me get the eraser also. Because here we should have some kind of a line that comes from here and should end like, like here. Let me see, like here. Yeah, I, I think I like that much better. Um, but let me do it even better. It would be something like here. Perfect. I like it much, much more, much more. Yeah, it gives like two different spaces. Uh -huh. Now I'm going to use again the lasso tool. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get again, get again the lasso tool. So lasso tool, but with this one, lasso. It's going to be something like he. Let me. Let me go. Perfect here, like this. Now we got it. Okay, the lasso tool is going to be somehow here. And now here and here, 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 and here, here, here. Oh, there we go. That's beautiful. That's really awesome. Okay, and close. Okay, so now E. I, sorry to select and uh, oh yeah I'm sorry I forgot to do one thing because I have to um yeah I have to take this section from this one so basically I'm not going I don't know I'm not sure if I can if I do this let me see what happened if I do this oh that was close it's not exactly what I need, but what will happen if I, let me see. I took the selection like this, let me do this. Oh no, that, is, that door doesn't work. Uh, so if I tap option and command, uh, then I'm going to go, to go the, okay, the outside. Okay, that is not what I want. What if yeah, I option and shift and go here? That is not what I want. Okay, what if I want, hmm, okay, uh, okay, let's do this, this, okay, I choose all this and then I'm going to go to the lasso and say, you know what? Okay, on this section, remove this section we have here. And here, this got to be a way. There we go. Good. And now I'm going to say, uh, okay, I have the selection, select inverse selection. Oh, come on, the inverse selection should be this one. I uh, know the merge selection is the, is the other. Okay, so what I want. Okay, 
there's there's one way I can do this that way that looks to me like possible which is okay let's do one thing uh, let's research on the internet okay Photoshop for sorry Photoshop remove uh, a selection from another selection how do we do that I guess it's going to be the lesser tool hold down the old yeah definitely hold down the old okay Okay, let's see. Hold down to the old. Yeah. Okay. Let me check. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Let me see if I can. Yeah, this is not what I'm looking for because this is basically. Uh, yeah okay well I, I'm gonna do it the other way I'm pretty sure that there is a better way of doing this but what I want is to say okay let me what if I take this complete selection okay now I have the complete selection and then I'm going to say okay lasso okay let me pass through this this is the, the trick oh no I want the complete selection okay lasso good it's gonna be like here 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 perfect now we got all this okay the, this is the, the the way that I think for the moment that could work oh almost what what did I did here That's, that was almost great uh, let me see Okay, lasso again, minus. Okay. Good, 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 good. And here. Okay, cool. So I'm basically uh, doing the other part. And I'm going to say, okay, I want to remove all this. There you go. Now I'm going to E, I, sorry. I to select this one and then brush to on this layer I'm going to put this perfect that's great um, okay there we go so let's continue then with the process Okay, great, great, great. Now I'm going to create a bit more of effects for this guy. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to low, I'm going to create some uh, some small effects. Let's see if I can. Good. Uh, what I'm going to do now is on this one, I'm going to brush, and let me reduce the scale with a shift, uh, sorry, control and option, and, um, and then I'm going to go in this to 30, 30, yeah, and um, going to create a, a darker color like than this one right now, which is going to be something, let me see if this one, Okay, this one add to swatches. Yeah, let me put it here. Good. Now I'm going to create a new one, but it's going to be a bit darker than that one. And add to swatches also. Here it is, a bit darker. And um, then I'm going to put the opacity on 30. And this is going to be a brush. 
if, if it's something like that let me see if it's going to be oh screen all saved there was one that he uses a lot Oh no, yeah. It's the eraser, sorry. It's the eraser tool. So let's see what he's planning to do. Okay. So let's go move here, select this area, and then he's saying, okay, let me erase a bit about this. So yeah, I can have like kind of a line. Oh, that was too much. Oh, of course, we got to put in on 30, 30 and 30, good, yeah, excellent. So I'm going to <clears throat> just give it like, like a line, yeah, so you can see. Uh, this is not good, it doesn't look great. Let's see if we can do it like that. Um, no, it's not working. I think I got to, oh yeah. It's not the size, I, I need something more, oh. Uh, more clear something like let me try with this one yes yeah, you can see there is an effect here that is not exactly what I want uh, let me see if I can create another can I erase with this one that's interesting it's not the one I'm going to use but I could use something like this Maybe this can give me the effect I want. So let me make it a bigger, and I'm going to make a line like this one. It's much better. Good. Let me see. So I'm going to start here and end here. Good. So it is like a like a line that I created here. Okay. Okay. Let me go here on the top. I'll make it a bit, a bit smaller. So let me take first this section and this section here. Cool. Excellent. And a bit darker here. And uh, let me see here. I'm going to do something like two small lines so you could have uh, more more effects. Uh, we do something like he, this. Perfect. Better. Much better. Beautiful. Okay, there we go. In fact, I think these three, I can reduce it a bit. Let me put it into 20%. And uh, I'll do something like that. Okay, so it's more subtle. Uh, even subtle it like that. It sounds like much fair. Yeah, I think it's the kind of brush that is helping me a lot. Uh, let me see something like, let me try this one. This is interesting. Yeah, because it creates, you know, like a kind of a lines I can use here. Oh, let me try again. Good, 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 good. Okay, oh, I like that. I like that effect. It looks cool. Okay, let me change again this to this one. What about this one? Let me see this. How does that how does that work? Oh, well, I like this one a lot. What is that one? I like this one a lot. Because it's subtle, you know. As you can see right now, it's really, really subtle. And every time I pass through. This, it, it makes like a small, soft, soft, really soft line. Um, let me try this one here also and try it again. I like the effect it's creating, it's really cool. Uh, let me try it here also because it's creating, yeah, like, like a shade effect, which is really cool. Uh huh, let me add it here also. Remember that we first create this. Uh, this layer and uh, 
I select this layer so I can remove. And what I'm doing right now is not painting. What I'm doing now is uh, is deleting. In fact, I I made a paint here and then I'm going I'm, I'm deleting a bit and as I have this dark uh, green on the background, then of course this is starting to to show on the back. And I love it. I, I really love this effect. Good. Okay, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to do something more drastic here. Yeah, I, I want to do it like I, I want to this section to look more darker. So I'm going to remove a bit more here. Yeah, this is going to be perfect. Don't worry about the background because at the end, this is something that most likely is going to disappear when we finish the, the final art. This is most likely going to disappear. And if not, we can always remove, you know, the, the dark lines and but that's not going to be our problem right now. Okay, let me do it a bit uh, smaller. Okay, big, a bit here. I'm going to move this a, a bit uh, up to the 30s. Yeah, I think that a bit, yeah, that's much better. And then here on this direction, that's going to be great. Good, perfect, perfect, perfect. And then it's going to move it like here. Okay, perfect. I love this. I really love this. Okay, this is great. This is really, really great. Perfect. So let's continue. You know that this is this is the part of the art that you can enjoy a lot. I do, I do, because it's like oh my god, this is so relaxing when you're creating these these beautiful colors. Um, I think this. Okay, cool. And uh, now I'm going to. Uh, we are doing this. Let me let me see. Are we doing this on this same layer? Okay, now I'm going over this one. I'm going to, let me take this. I don't know if he's using, yeah, I think he's using this, this color. Um, okay, uh, let me go to the brush. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to reduce a lot. Open, good. And I'm going to create a bit of shadows. Oh, sorry. I'm going to create a bit of shadows here on this section uh, with my with my brush. So let me. I think I can reduce it to three. Yeah, that would be great. And let me do something like this one. Oh, yeah. I need more. In this case, it's going to be 100 and 100. Yeah, the color I choose is this one. Perfect, which is good. And okay, now I'm going to create these small shadows that are around here. As you can see, great. So yeah, what I want is to create this section. I want this section to be a bit darker, a bit more darker. So it's going to be something like this. Yeah. Let me make some shot lines. Good, good, good. And yeah. in fact, I'm going to get, so I'm going to get this color. I like this one because it's darker. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. And this one, good, good, good. Yeah, now I'm creating the shadow of this and I want to create a shadow that comes from, from this point. Oh, no, sorry, from this point until, until this point, like following the line from the, from the top, okay? okay? Let me move here a bit. And here, let me connect these two, excellent. And then this section, which it should be something like this. Mm, let me do it more circular. Yeah, like congruent with, with, the, with, the, with the one you have on the top. So there we go. And here I want to make a small detail. Yeah, perfect. Again, from this point, 
until this point. There you go. Maybe let me do it a bit uh, too. Good, perfect. And then from this point until this point. Beautiful. Which is good. That's great. Okay, now we have it. Now we have, uh, okay, what do we want here? Let me save, of course, because we always have to save here. Uh, then again, we're going to the erase. 30-30, great. Uh, we're doing here some dimensions. Uh, we're doing great. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to, I'm going to reduce this a bit. Let me put it on 30, yeah, it could be 30. I'll, I'm, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, I'm going, no, this is not what I want. I want to neither this. I want to amplify this, good. So I can reduce the shadow uh, anywhere, anywhere. So let's do it like, yeah, all the parts here. So in general, I'm going to do this, yeah, to reduce the color because it is like, it is right now, it is like too, um, too shiny. So what I want is to reduce the colors everywhere. So let's do it in and here also, there you go, perfect. Now we're reducing a bit of the colors. Okay, beautiful. And now we are going to, uh, Sorry, let me reduce this a bit again. Now I'm going to my brush. I'm going to change my brush to one of my favorites, which is this one. Yeah, I, uh, let me check, it's this one, sorry. And uh, what I'm going to do, don't, don't move Photoshop. And then I'm going to create some uh, special effects, like shadow effects. Uh, so let's put it, this on what about 35, 35. And, um, what I want is to okay go back to this uh, to this color. I think it would be that one. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, perfect, perfect. That is exactly what I want. So and uh, let me reduce this a bit. Thirty, thirty. Yeah, I don't want too much color. And uh, I'm going to kind of scratching this one. Okay, just you know enjoy yourself here. And uh, let me reduce a bit. Too big. And then I'm going to create like these effects that are not, you know, nothing important really. Okay. Okay, good. And let me see, let me continue. Yeah, the, the thing right now is you, 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 that you have some fun around here. Yeah. I'm going to put this in 30. Let me put it on 25 and 25. Yeah. And now I can create like some kind of textures all around the ship, okay? And feel happy about it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just about to, you know, to for you to find some kind of things that could be like an effects that, that you can use in your, uh, your paint, in just your paint. So let me put this a bit lower even. So I'm going to create this, this, perfect. That's much better. And uh, okay, cool, cool. Let me reduce this a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna here reduce this. Okay, let me put in lag here. Okay, cool. And reduce a bit more, and then here, good. And then you can see, yeah, what how you can create this kind of colors, beautiful colors, beautiful designs, which are this. And this one, of course, here on the top, on the bottom, everywhere. So now, now everything is starting to, you know, like having shapes, having, you know, this, this kind of, of soul, you know, that you're going to bring to the, to the, to the, to the paint. And this is, this is just you enjoying yourself and getting, you know, oh, this is the place where I want this, and. I'm just talking, you know. You're going to be happy about it. Let your let your painting go. Let your painting go. Let your soul go. And I think that's great about this. When you are painting on, on Photoshop, 
I, th I think this is one of the greatest thing that you do. Mm -hmm. Good. So, there is one thing, and I still don't get very much, which is going to be like uh, this. Okay, I have these covers. Let me think, what can I do if uh, if I want to let me go back a bit, yeah, like here. Mm, that's a good one. That's a good one because I can use. Let me think, let me think. I can use the selection tool. Let me see. Uh, hide? No. Command H. Yeah. On hide? Good. Command H is to uh, hide and unhide. Okay, and I can use now a selection tool. Oh, sorry. I can use a selection tool like this one and create a circle, a perfect circle. Yeah, what I want is to create a perfect circle here. Good, here. Oh, perfect, there you go, there you go. And now, from this circle, what I'm going to do is to erase. So let me erase, but now I'm going to erase a 100%, 100%. What I'm going to raise is this section, just this section. Just a moment. Perfect. And now you're going to see that everything is getting to um, to what I want. It goes to the cover. Now the cover is, you know, the circle is looks perfect. Let's continue. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, get this cover. Uh, uh -huh. I select it and why aren't you? Oh my God, that's so bad. Okay, okay, no, but I have an idea. I have an idea. So let's go. Okay, cool. Now I select this, let me go back a bit. So you can see I select the section, the painting section that we have right now, and then I'm going to uh, okay, I'm going to select modify contract. Okay, good, good, good. I get to remember this one, so I'm going to I'm going to take this one and select modify contract and I'm going to say how many pixels I'm going to contract. Say six. Sounds like too too much. Let me see about uh, let me see about three. Yeah, three I think is a lot, in fact. Uh, I'm gonna take what about two? Yeah, I'm going to select again. Sorry. I'm going to, let me see, select this one, no. Uh, select this one, no, select this one. Okay, and then I'm going to select modify contract and I'm going, instead of three, I'm going to take two. There you go. So what what you see is that we we go like, you know, bit on the, on, on the inside of this. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is the I'm going to use the paint, the brush, and uh, you remember we put in like 21. And what I want is to create like like a, a darker, darker section. You know, like the the, the place where it bends, a section where where it bends. So let me use this color, and as you can see, I am going to create like a bending section all around this all around this that is going to give me 
like the sensation of wait a moment, wait a moment. I I'm not doing the, the bending section. It's going to be like oh yeah, because it's it's on the inside, correct? Yeah. Now it's on the side. Mm, no. Okay, so this is wrong. Sorry. Contract. Uh-huh. And then once I did contract, I get to Oh yeah. Select. Ah, now I think it's inverse selection. Let me see. No. Neither. Oh come on, I'm in the covers. So once you made the contract. Once you made the contract, sorry, I gotta go back on this process. Uh, let me go slower. A bit slower, a bit more. Nope. Okay, cool. So it's gonna be the contract. Sorry, could be something else. Yeah, he's contracting the selection so I can create. So I can create. Uh, wh what I want to is to create, you know, the shadows on these lines. But to do that, okay, I made the contract. I, I contract the selection. But then I have to. Let me see, I have to... Okay, let me see what you done. Okay, now it's locking this. Get a little how how does he it is like he is contracting and then okay oh, this is a process. I have to contract how to get into the contracting. I am contracting. The guy is contracting. Okay, I have an idea how to solve this. I'm going to make a copy of this layer. Good. And then I'm going to take this. Okay, 
I'm going to take this and I'm going to say, okay, I need to control, I, I have an idea. Uh, I'm going to say select modify contract yeah, by two, great, good. Um, then I'm going to erase everything that is inside. Let me do this one. I'm going to erase anything that is inside of this one. Strange. I don't know why I am deleting. Sorry. Oh, there you go. Now it's perfect. Okay, cool. Because I'm deleting just the inner part. Good. That's great. That's great. Good. Good, good, good. I'm just deleting the inner part. Excellent. And that's exactly what I want. I want this to be completely erased. Let me see, let me see. I don't want anything to be here. Good. I turn this on. Perfect. And now, <coughs> good. And now I'm going to take this section, which should be all this area that I have here. Perfect. Now I'm going to my brush. And uh, I select the color that could be a bit uh, big darker, like this one. Good, good. Let me reduce this a bit. Good. And now, having this selection, then I'm going to create like the lines that are going to be. Now I can draw here, yeah, because this is not my. <coughs> I'm sorry, this is not my selection. This is my selection. This one that we have here. And that is what I'm doing here right now. Okay. Let me see how does that work. Sorry. Each. Are you getting the are you getting the line or not? I don't see it. Let me move this higher. V30. Yeah, good. Could be. Hmm. What about this one? Oh, I think that's much better. Yeah. Now I am creating like, you know, it's like a tender line where it's going to be the shadows of this thing. Good. Which is cool. I love this one. I love this one. Okay, perfect. So let me let me hide. I'm going to hide this. You go back. Yeah, excellent. And continue this. That's it's much better. Now you can see that we are creating, you know, like this darker line. Yeah, perfect. When you when you pass it only twice. We are creating now this darker line that is like, like a small shadow that is going to appear between two layers, and uh, yeah, that's great. It's beautiful. It's really, really awesome. It's stunning. Good. Ho ho ho! Great, great, great. I love this. I love it. Now we're having the effect that I wanted. Okay, cool. Let me move here a bit. So you can see we're having this. Let me show again. Okay, here. Yeah, definitely here. We need it on the on the bottom. Command H. Command H here. We're going to use it. Bottom of this. Good. Good. Okay. 
okay and of course here here we have it here we need to have the same we have the same problem here so let's get it let's get this beautiful beautiful that's it so you can see we're getting you know like these soft lines and uh, yeah there's always I need uh, always a uh, other way of doing things and uh, this looks really This one. Oh, this one is is cool. Let me lower this one. Okay, cool. Good. Okay, that's much better. Good. Love this one. And yeah, let's go with this. Awesome. There you go. This is great. This is, this looks really fantastic. Okay, cool. Here on the top, I forgot the top. Yeah, this can this can be so so lighter. You get to yeah, I got to put some some darker some darkened stuff here. Okay, cool. Oh, I love this. This looks really cool. crazy this is so stunning how can this be so great and stunning I love this okay great oh maybe you're not so thrilled about this but I love you know when, when you get the right tool to do the job that you are trying to do oh man you're going to feel really awesome and this is kind of of an occasion for it. In fact, let me. I'm going to reduce this because it is too. This too brighter right now, as you can see here on this size, it's too brighter, and uh, with just one pass, it could be you know like softer, a bit soft, and with another it could be darker. So you got to be careful. One, there you go, and let me see this one. Perfect. That's it. That's what I want to create. Uh, okay, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to create a taken. I think I'm going to take now this two. Let me see, these two can be together. Let me, let me check out my shape. Yeah, my shape is getting, yeah, a very good shape. And now I'm going to put this two together. So I was gonna put in here and say, oh, let me move my keyboard just a bit here. Okay, now let me put it here and let's say, uh, oh, come on, where is Merch Down? Merge down. Now we have them. No, no merge down. It's merge, merge, just merge. Uh, merge layers here, there. Good merge layers. Now we have all this merge, all this layer together. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new selection, which is going to be. Let me let me get a circle. Okay. Uh, perfect circle, by the way. Uh, let me move it a bit on the top of this one something like around here it will be something like yeah maybe let me do it a bit smaller good 
And yeah, there, there it is. I think that could be. That's great. And okay, now, now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to use a, 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 a color that could be. see how can I how can I select this let me think about it let me think about it I need to make a selection like this one okay and now I'm going to add no it's going to add let me think did this one Is because what I want is to have this selection is this selection okay how can I get this selection okay let me get I'm going to f try to find that uh, okay let me see a light oh, what about an intersection okay Photoshop intersection shapes let me see uh -huh. create a new document create two shapes good choose the path selection path selection tool we have it choose the path selection tool let me see oh this is the path I guess this is the path selection tool good uh-huh control X or command X select any shape uh-huh okay oh I think I got it let me see okay so um, I'm going to move this a bit so I can see the the tutorial for a moment. So I'm going to okay. First, let me make a copy of this one. It's not going to hurt anybody. And then I'm going to make the selection of this one. Good. Then select any shape. Okay. Uh, what about? select any shape choose the path selection let's select any shape okay I select any shape good control and X okay control and X good or common X okay what did I do okay select the second shape using the path selection okay here's the second shape using the path selection let me put in like it's going to be a bit bigger it's going to be something like around yeah it could be something like around here good i think i can move it a bit yeah uh control v or command v what the heck Oh, this is all wrong. This is all so wrong. Okay, first I choose this one. How can I, once I get this created, I want to say.
Yeah, because if I create this one, it's going to add it. That is not what I want. <coughs> what I want is to intersect to. Let me do this. Put this here a moment. Okay. Okay. Oh, let me take this, put them here. Good. Okay, okay. Choose the path selection tool. This is this is the path selection tool. What is the path selection tool? Oh my God, this is the path selection tool, is the A. Okay, I'm gonna use the, the, the black one, which is A, okay. Choose the path selection tool, uh -huh. select any type of shape. Any type of shape. Okay, what do you mean? Create a new document and create a new shape. Choose path selection tool. Select any type of shape. What about uh, this one we have here? Good. Command X. So command X. Good. Yeah, but this is not exactly what I want. What I want is to, let me see, let me see. There's one thing this guy is doing that I don't get yet. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is, okay, I got this one, command D. Now I'm going to grade this, which is going to be a circle. And let me move the circle back around here, good. There we got it. Pretty much the circle I want. Let me move it a bit here. Yeah, that's, that's good. I think it's a good circle. Maybe I can do it a bit, you know. No, let me do it a bit less circling, more. Yeah, I think that one. That one's gonna look good. Down a bit. And out here. Okay, cool. I like this more. Good. What about here? Okay, okay, go down. There you go. Go down. Okay, perfect. And now what, what does he do? you choose this trying to I'm trying from this size to remove to 
select a portion of a selection basically. Yeah, okay, I'm going to select this. And then I'm going to create a circle. I'm going to move it up. Good. Oh no, he added the circle. I don't want to add the circle. I want to... Yeah, there's one thing I still don't get, which is how can I make a simple, a double selection from one part, so. Okay, guys, I'm gonna stop for the moment. Uh, I think I'm going to drink a coffee or something like that to continue this process. I get to find ways of doing this uh, to take a selection from another from another selection and then continue. So for the moment, I'm gonna stop right now and uh, we are going to continue uh, streaming more about this kind of content and about the game Galaxium uh during the day so keep up with us and we'll see you in very few minutes